Hey guys, it's Haley from the blog Hand and Homemade. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. I hope you guys are having a lovely start to your new year. And I wanted to kick off 2022 with a DIY video. I'm going to be showing you how we did our cottage style table and chairs. And before we begin, I just want to ask, you know, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below. I have a bunch of really exciting videos um, in store for this year. My husband and I bought this house probably seven or eight months ago, and we're going to be prepping our garden, and I really want to learn how to can this year, and I'm going to be bringing you along with me as I learn those things, and so if that's of interest to you, hit that subscribe button down below and stick around. Um, so let's get into how I did our cottage style tabletop and chairs. So I was going to film an entire thrift flips video, but the external hard drive that I use to store all of our footage crashed and so I'll just be inserting what clips I do have of the process of us um, building our table and chairs and I will make sure to insert a bunch of photos so that as I explain it, it makes a little bit more sense you can see what we're doing. The very first thing I did, as always, is hop on Pinterest and find some inspiration. I will link my Pinterest down below if you want to follow along. Um, I share everything that I put on the blog on there, as well as just some general inspiration that I find from other creators for our house and our land and that sort of stuff. So everything will be linked um, down below in the description box if that's something that you want to check out. After I found what I was looking for on Pinterest. I hopped on Facebook Marketplace just to shop around. As I normally say, I'm a very frugal person and we had a top budget. So I, you know, searched for some tables and chairs that were similar to the style I was looking for. I found this table and these chairs on Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid around $75 to $100 for the chairs, the six chairs, and $50 for the table. Um, the chairs look like they were in rough condition, but in person they really weren't as bad as um, I had originally thought. The table was in worse condition than the chairs, in my opinion, but the legs were complete um, wooden legs, and so I decided just to get it, go for it, see what we could make of it. The plan was to sand down the original tabletop, but there was a veneer coating on top of the um, table that just would not come up. It, it was bubbled up in spots and I decided to build my own tabletop with the help of my dad and my husband. So we removed the legs from the tabletop and we had some old barn wood laying around on my parents' farm. So I picked out a couple pieces that I liked. We cut them down to size. We just measured out the original tabletop and cut the um, barn wood to match the same size as that. Once we did that, I figured out the pattern that I wanted with the knots and we flipped it over and attached two by fours to it to hold it down because it was going to be outside while we were working and raw wood like that will bow and move if it gets sunlight on it and that kind of thing. So we attached it to two by fours just to ensure that it wouldn't move. This is not anywhere near finished but this is the bottom, the frame. We are going to take off of that pre-existing tabletop and we're going to frame out around the edges and then these will actually come off. But for now, this is what it looks like. Um, I wish I could show you the bottom, but this wood is so heavy I cannot flip it because the bottom side is actually the top of the table and it's going to get sanded and it's going to be stained actually the same color that the bed will go which is very similar to the color of the vanity although the vanity looks kind of cherry out here it's really not it's a pretty neutral color so we're going to go ahead and get started it took many many sheets of sandpaper to get it smooth i wanted to be able to run my hand over it and it not feel like I was gonna get a splinter. I wanted it to be nice and smooth. So we used 60 grit multiple times and then I went back in with a higher grit of, I think it was 120 and smoothed it out nicely. And then I stained it. 
I did two coats of Minwax Special Special Walnut. Yeah, I'll link the, the one I used down below, but I'm fairly certain it's Special Walnut. It's the same color as the beans behind me. It's just a very neutral brown. Doesn't pull too cool tone, doesn't pull too warm tone. It's the perfect brown for me. So I stained it with two coats of that. And then um, we decided to flip it over and attach the legs. Painted the legs white with Benjamin Moore's Chantilly Lace. It's also just a very true white. It's nice and bright, and that's the same color that I went in with the chairs. Um, I haven't sealed anything yet. We've had no issues with the table um, as far as needing to seal it, but that'll be something that I will probably do later on down the line with some type of polyurethane or polyacrylic. Um, comment down below if you have a certain finish that you like to use on your furniture pieces or specifically a table. Um, that would be really helpful. So moving on to the chairs, I tried to save the upholstery as it was. It just looked like it was really dirty. So I tried to bissel it with um, my bissel green machine. Nothing would come out, no amount of bleach, no amount of spot shot or anything like that would get out the stains. So I decided to go in and just reupholster it all. My mom came over one Sunday afternoon and she helped me reupholster all of the seats. Here is the seat now that it has been reupholstered. My mom helped me do them. We just used drop cloth. I really, really love the color of this drop cloth. I know they can be darker, but this one is a very light linen color. I will link it down below. I bought it off Amazon or I'll link it in my blog post. And we ended up, it comes with four cloths and we only had to have one to reupholster the six seats. So very, very happy with the way that it turned out. Um, I think it's just lovely. It has a really pretty texture to it. And I'll show you how we did it. So all we did was cut out a square that was larger than the seat and then we pulled it tight and stapled it. And I will go back when I'm ready to attach these to the chairs and cut off some of the excess fabric so that it's not sticking out or, you know, unraveling. But as far as the corners go, my mom helped me do a really pretty place on all four corners and I'm just so happy with the way they turned out. I think it's lovely. It was not very expensive to reupholster these because the drop cloth's not very expensive at all and it gives that linen look. So like I said, I'll link it down below. And for those of you who are like, Haley, it's a linen color, it's gonna get dirty. All I ever have to do is repeat the process. So I, if this gets dirty to the point that I can't, you know, fall exit or bissel it. I can take the staples out and then just add another piece of drop cloth to it. So it, you know, eases <laughs> some of my worries about it being a light linen color because it is inexpensive to fix. So um, if you're wanting to reupholster your chairs, this is a great way to do it and get a really pretty, you know, more expensive luxury look for less. It's held up wonderfully. I was really worried about using a lighter cloth if they would get really dirty easily or if it would stain. I have had no issues with it whatsoever and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It only required one sheet of the drop cloth and I, the pack I bought come with I think four, either four or six. And so it has been great and I love the linen look of it. It's so pretty and um, we just stapled it to the back and we did a single pleat in all the corners. So once that was finished, we screwed them all back together. We attached the legs to the tabletop and just made sure it was level and nothing was gonna tip over. And I'll show you guys our finished product.
I'm really happy with it. It was not a hard DIY. It just took a little bit of time between work and holidays. So I hope you guys enjoy the outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said at the beginning, feel free to subscribe, stick around. I have a lot of really exciting videos planned. With this new year, I really hope to um, be consistent with my filming and my writing on the blog. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable behind camera. It's taking some time. I'm still, you know, working out the details and, and figuring things out. So um, I just appreciate you following me along um, this journey. And I hope, you know, you can learn and as I learn and we'll fail together or we'll grow together. And so until next time, friends, I will see you later. Bye.